Today I have the pleasure at PDAC to be discussing with Mark Levier from SME. How are you today? I'm doing well, Trace. It's good to see you again. We were just discussing off the camera about the real issue in the critical minerals market, and that is what? Well, the real issue in the critical minerals market, aside from the supply of uh, raw materials, is uh, human resource. And uh, where are we going to get all these mines? And once we get the mines, where are we going to get the people to man them? So uh, we just came from the SME annual meeting in Denver, and I can tell you that in every committee that I sat in on, uh, be it educators or industry, it was all about workforce. And where are we going to, how are we going to attract the students, these, these high school kids, into the colleges and get them into the engineering disciplines that we need to run these mines? So I'm going to ask you some hard questions, Mark. Everyone, all these young, talented people say to me, we're going to decarbonize the economy. Well, that's fantastic. How are you going to attract these students to get into this industry to do things like, I don't know, rare earth extraction technology processes, for instance? How is, how is the SME positioning themselves? Because I know the CMI is really working on education. Well, we have a number of people that have interest in that area. So every year you see another committee uh, formed uh, of mutual interest uh, with technical sessions uh, that they organize themselves. Uh, we get a tremendous number of volunteers in SME out of our membership. And uh, so you can see that growing. Uh, personally, I, you know, I'd say that uh, net zero is going to take some time uh, to be achieved. And uh, we're going we're to have carbon in our lives. Uh, for a very, very long time because there's a lot of it and there's a lot of research in carbon in terms of other opportunities. Uh, talking about coal, for example. So I think that there's going to be an interest of classical training uh, with, with a bunch of the young people as well as the kids that get excited, you know, high school uh, when they hear about all these new programs. Um, Colorado School of Mines has a new program called mining, uh, space mining. That is a great key uh, segue to key kids into the programs and be exposed to other parts of mining engineering and mineral processing. And, and I think it's doing a great job attracting kids into the industry. And, and we just got to do more of those things. There's a, the, the big key is what attracts them, what interests them. Um, SME has participated, now if I may make a plug, uh, has participated in a a season uh, production called Jobs of Tomorrow. And Jobs of Tomorrow is a product of um, Freebie TV. Uh, they put together a number of industries and, and each industry has so many episodes. So we just completed our season one, six episodes, uh, talking about opportunities in the mining industry. And we're about to do season two. And these, these are not classical things. And when you look at the titles, you go, Where's the mining engineer? Where's this? They refer to them, but to get involved with ESG, they get involved with tailings, they get involved with a lot of new terminology, things that are of interest to kids. Well, personally, I think it's gonna take a lot of scholarships. Scholarships, money, it's gonna to have to, we're gonna to have to have a high average salary that we can actually explain to people, but it's very hard when we only have so many scandium mines, for instance. Yeah, yeah that's right. So that's it's right. kind of a catch-22. Yeah, you're absolutely right. The money has to be there to help attract them. At our annual meeting, we gave out, SME gave out over $250,000 in scholarships just at that event. Uh, the Wamey Group has given out uh, like three quarters of a million dollars this year in scholarships. So. Fundraising and scholarships is one of our, one of our uh, key interests and one of our uh, big drivers uh, to keep moving forward. And we've got a tremendous amount of sponsors with, with the, you know, a lot of the same companies that you see here at this, at this trade show. Well, Mark, it's such a pleasure to see you. And you know, we're looking forward to watching you ramp up for the big annual SME show, which happens, what, February of next year, it's February right? uh, 25 to 28 next year in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. So we're going to go to a little warmer climate, and uh, the attraction should be good. Wonderful. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.